It was 1984 and Melanie Road was studying for her A-levels. She'd been out clubbing with friends, but on the way home she was sexually assaulted and stabbed to death. Melanie walked back on her own that night. It's only about half a mile from the centre of Bath to the family home. Her body was discovered by a milkman the next morning, next to some garages in a quiet cul-de-sac. She'd been stabbed 26 times. The police found drops of the killer's blood at the scene and on the pavement nearby. And over the years, thousands of local men have provided DNA samples, but the murderer was not identified. Then, last year, scientists found similarities with DNA taken from a woman in an unrelated investigation. She was the daughter of this man, Christopher Hampton from Bristol. He, in turn, was tested and there was a complete match. Now, 32 years later, he's admitted murdering Melanie. It's, it's not a man, he's a monster. Melanie's mum says she can't believe yeah, Hampton really could murder a girl he didn't know and then hide his secret for so long. I always said if I got hold of him, I'd strangle him or stick a knife into him, and that's how I felt. But I wouldn't even use my energy up on him. I feel that he would should be shut, in, shut up in a dungeon like they used to in the olden days and just left to rot. Over the decades, 700 officers have worked on the case. They hoped science would eventually identify the killer. I've been working on this case for seven years and I just knew it. And if you ask anybody, they'll tell you. Yeah, Julie says she's going to find him. And I just had a feeling inside me. Christopher Hampton was told he'll serve at least 22 years of his life sentence. Given he's now in his mid-60s, the judge said he may well die behind bars. John Kay, BBC News, Bristol Crown Court.